When most people talk about high dividend yields, they think of 10 or maybe 12% yields. In this video, we will be discussing the top yielding dividend stocks easily topping 25% yield. At the end of the video, we'll reveal the number one dividend yield stock on the market today, a stock I had never heard of prior to researching this video that may surprise you. Before we dive in, it's important to understand how dividend yields work. A dividend yield is the annual dividend payment divided by the current stock price. A high yield may seem attractive, but it's important to do your due diligence and research the company to make sure it's financially stable and will continue to pay dividends into the future. Now, let's take a look at some of the top yielding dividend stocks on the market today. Starbolt Carriers SBLK, is a Greek shipping company that operates a fleet of dry bulk vessels, including Capsize, Panamax, and Supermax vessels. The company specializes in the transportation of commodities such as iron ore, coal, grain, and other bulk goods. SBLK operates globally, with a strong presence in the Asia-Pacific region, Europe, and the Americas. Starbolt Carriers currently yields a 24% dividend on a $21.16 share price, paying an annual dividend of $5.10 per share. Starbolt's dividend policy states it will pay quarterly dividends equal to the amount of the company's total cash balance minus the minimum cash balance for all their fleet vessels. In 2022, this dividend policy yielded a total dividend distribution of $6.50 per share, but it's also highly variable. SBLK is not focused on steady increasing dividends, so I would stay away if you were looking for a long-term hold. PBR, or Petro Brazil, is a Brazilian multinational oil and gas company. PBR operates in exploration, production, refining, marketing, and transportation of oil and gas in Brazil and internationally. The company is known for its significant reserves of oil and natural gas, and has a diversified portfolio of assets across the energy value chain. PBR is also a leader in the development of biofuels and other renewable energy resources. Despite facing challenges in recent years, including a major corruption scandal, PBR remains a major player in the global energy industry and a key contributor to Brazil's economy. PBR's dividend yield is 54.1% and currently pays an annual dividend of $6.39 per share with a share price of $11.81. Payout ratios for PBR are pretty high, topping out at 116% in 2022. PBR's dividend policy states that it intends to distribute dividends quarterly equal to 60% of net cash minus capital expenses. This is an example of a fixed payout ratio dividend policy. Of course, at the end of the dividend policy document is clause 4.5, which states the company may exceptionally promote the distribution of dividends even in the event of no net income, which would explain the high payout ratios in previous years. Given the high payout ratios in a regular dividend payment history, I personally wouldn't touch this dividend stock, especially as a long-term hold. Next on our list is Torm PLC, which is a Danish shipping company that operates a fleet of tanker vessels. The company specializes in transporting refined oil products such as gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel, as well as crude oil and other bulk liquids. Torm's fleet includes both owned and chartered vessels, which operate globally and serve a wide range of customers in the energy and shipping industries. Torm's dividend yield is 29.4%, paying a $10.36 dividend per share on a $35.28 share price. Torm's dividend policy states it intends to pay a quarterly dividend, but is entirely dependent on excess liquidity for that quarter. In other words, the massive dividend paid in Q1 may not be continued next quarter if there's a dividend at all. TRMD's payout ratios have been very high historically, and is often paid a dividend even with negative earnings. Torm has been paying dividends since 2016, but has had only seven distributions between then and now. TRMD has also seen massive price growth over the past year, rising from only $7.83 per share in January 2022 to the current price of $35.28. Torm's dividend policy is not geared towards consistent dividend payments, so I wouldn't invest here if you're looking for a long-term hold. Since Torm pays out any excess liquidity to shareholders each quarter, the dividend could be reduced or cut completely if earnings are less than anticipated. Last on our list is Zim Integrated Shipping, ticker symbol ZIM. Zim is an Israeli-based shipping company that operates a global container shipping network, specializing in transporting consumer products, electronics, and raw materials, and has a diverse customer base that includes manufacturers, retailers, and logistics companies. Zim currently yields a massive 80.7% dividend on a $21.01 share price, paying $16.95 annually in dividends. Strangely enough, Zim's payout ratios have been fairly low, not once crossing over 100% since August 2021 when they paid their first dividend. Not an impressive history, but given the high distributions, it may be worth looking into. 
Zim's dividend policy stipulates the company pay a quarterly dividend equal to 30% of net income for Q1, Q2, and Q3, with a step-up dividend in Q4 bringing the total annual dividend up to between 30 and 50% of net income for that year. This dividend policy has led to some astounding payouts, the most notable of which was a $17 per share distribution in March 2022. That's just for one quarter. I'm not normally one for chasing yields, but this stock is looking pretty good. They don't have a lot of dividend history to back them up, and lacking dividend growth may keep them away from dividend aristocrat territory, but I don't think Zim should be dismissed on these grounds alone. Dividend yield is probably the most researched aspect of dividend investing, and for good reason. Yield ultimately determines how much you as the investor earn in income for holding a stock. There are many other important factors to consider, however, including dividend growth, payout ratios, income growth, and dividend history. We hardly touched on these metrics at all in this video, but be sure to do your own research if you are considering buying any of these stocks. Thanks for watching this video. If you learned anything or found this information helpful, please give us a like and subscribe. I know it's annoying to ask, but it really helps out a small channel. As always, stay safe and take it easy.